Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Gronya and thanks for joining me. So guys, today's video is very exciting. Uh, lockdown is finally over and I'm heading to Vandermeer Nurseries to do a little bit of shopping. I couldn't wait for this day. So this is the first day that it's open. It's Tuesday the 16th of February. I'm hoping I'm gonna pick up some beautiful babies today. Guys, we had a heavy snowfall and it's very cold but nothing will deter a plant mama from going looking for new plants. So guys, I was just wondering, what are your wish plants? So I had a, friend, a plant friend over last week and she said to me, what's your number one wish plant? And I said, God, I, you know what? I don't have a number one wish plant. I have like loads of plants I want, but I can't think of one in particular that I want over the rest. Um, so basically I want them all, right? I know, that's not true, but um, I do like um, Philodendron Melanochrysum. I wouldn't mind one of them. However, they're so expensive and I wouldn't pay the prices that are being asked for cuttings at the moment. I did try to import one, but my um, supplier in Ecuador didn't have any in stock, so I wasn't able to get one. Um, but I will hold out. Hopefully I might get a piece in a tray or something or I will just sit tight and wait until the prices regulate themselves. So I was just wondering for you, what is your favorite plant? What is the plant that you would pay any money for? Or is there a plant you would pay any money for? Or are you like me and just would wait until it is affordable? Um, would you prefer to import it? Would you buy it locally? What would be your opinion on it? Now, as I'm speaking about importing, I might just touch base on a few little things. Importing is no longer affordable, guys. I am importing from Ecuador, and I do have an, um, a shipment coming from Thailand. But have you guys seen the prices they are asking for these plants in places like Indonesia and some suppliers in Thailand? It is gone crazy. I had a, an Indonesian seller reach out to me on Instagram and I asked him to send me his price list. Well, I nearly fell off my sofa. There is no way on God's green earth that I would pay 100 or 150 US dollars to import a plant from Indonesia. Sorry guys, I just would not do it. So they've cottoned on to the fact that we are all desperate for plants and they're obviously like looking at our Facebook groups and they're seeing how much money these plants are going for and now they want a piece of the pie, right? So they're in turn putting their prices up. We all know how the currency works and US dollars, even here for us to buy something in US dollars, we, you have to add 30% onto the cost and it really does make it a lot more expensive. So I just wanted to put that out there. I, you know, there's some plants I would import. I still will import Hoyas, even though they're tiny cuttings. You know, you can get varieties that maybe we can't get here. By the way, I'm just going into Tim Hortons. But um, as for like philodendron and um, anthurium and the like, it's getting, it's just getting crazy. Now I did get a good deal from Ecuador and I will be putting up information about that as soon as the shipment arrives. I don't want to promote any business until I see what the plants are like and what the service is like. So as soon as I receive it and I have a look at the plants, you know I'm going to pass that information on to you if you are interested. But Indone like last year, Indonesia was considerably cheaper than Thailand. I would actually say Indonesia is probably more expensive than Thailand now, depending on who you're importing with. But it is, I, I'm trying to think of an example of a plant that I'm importing from Thailand. Okay, so I'm, I'm importing a philodendron gigas from Thailand. I think I paid 55 US dollars for it. And I know on the Indonesian site, I believe that that was over a hundred US dollars. So I would say now it, it's a bit like the tulip mania of what was it, the 1800s. Uh, it's time for us all to rein in and um, hold tight. At those kind of prices, I would be buying them here. I'd be buying cuttings here from sellers, reputable sellers, of course, 
um, where you're not you're not going to put your plants through the stress of shipping and especially this time of year my plants are supposed to come in March I'm hoping and praying that the weather will be good and nothing will happen to them they're usually pretty good they'll guarantee the plants if something does happen to them but you usually have to pay the shipping again so if you are only and, and another thing about Indonesia they do tell you I think you have to order 12 plants which makes the shipment so expensive so say you just want a melanocrysum you might be better off just paying to buy one here. You know, if, if it's something that you have to have, if you desperately need to have it, you might be better just buying it here. But I would say that um, importing has just gone crazy. I I don't know, it, it's, it's disheartening to see how plant prices have gone so high. So anyway, guys, I'm on my way to Vandermeer's. I'm going to order my cup of tea and I will talk to you after the video. Take care, guys. Okay guys, I hope you can hear me, but I got so excited I forgot to turn on my camera. But Vandermeers have just got this new range um, and it is the Orchid Media. And I've just picked up some of this to add to my soil. There's a nice one here that I like actually. And it has uh, fine grade bark, charcoal and coarse perlite. So I thought that was nice, I bought some of that. And I also bought this general mix, which has medium bark, coarse perlite, perlite charcoal, chunky peat, and sphagnum moss. So I picked some of that up. And then they also have this sphagnum moss here. So I've picked up these supplies, and I've also picked up another Nanook. I don't know if I told you guys, but my beautiful Nanook got thrips so I actually threw it out. There's a lot of people on in the, that aisle guys so I'm gonna wait until it's empty before I head down. So let's take a look here. So on Stereodubia and they are $69.99 the Rafidophora Hai which is also $69.99 the shamrock plant I know there's another name for it Oxalis the oxalis is $7.99. So we have some Hoya carnosas, green carnosas. We have some Crimson Queen. Yeah, Dishidia ruscifolia. They have Hindu rope. Okay, guys, this aisle is clear now, so I'm going to go down. So here is an Alocasia California Odora 10 inch pot for $39.99. Here is a bird of paradise. So it's a white bird of paradise for $19.99. And we have the Alocasia Low Rider. Some more fry deck. Now I am so tempted, guys. You know how much I love fry deck. And I really love to bulk mine out. You know what? I'm going to have a think about it. There is. Is that black velvet? Yeah, that's black velvet for $39.99. And there is the Maharani for $39.99. So there's some more Tradescantia, Golden Pothos. Lots of them. Let's see how much they are. Lovely size. Also $4.99. Look at these ones on a moss palm. And they are $24.99. Okay, so back to the Hoya guys. So there is Hoya Retusa. This There's a Hoya Shepherdy. There isn't a lot left, guys. I'd say they got cleaned out today. So here we have a Crimson Princess. This is the Multiflora. They do flower quite prolifically, and that's $14.99. Uh, Oinantha, I can never pronounce that one. It's the variegated Oinantha. Aluminum plants, some umbrella plants, and what is this? What is this? This is a Schifflera Lemon Soleil. Wasn't that pretty? I've never seen that before. Some little orange trees, so cute. And I actually love this one, Moon Valley. Is it Moon Valley it's called? A Pilea Moon Valley. Yeah, Moon Valley, isn't that cute? And that is $6.99. It's 
actually kind of hard to get. I don't want to be going down an aisle that people are in. So here we have string of hearts. We have mistletoe cactus. I love this. one in particular actually oh my gosh these have my name on them for sure isn't this one beautiful too that also has my name on it is that 7.99 yeah 7.99 that's a very good price guys i've seen these for 12.99 recently so the scissors discolor is 24.99 okay so birkin philodendron birkin 29.99 oh prince of orange it's kind of a muted orange. Some philodendron Brazil. And they also have some heartly philodendron, which is kind of what I'm looking for at the moment. How much are they? And they're only $4.99. So they have a few philodendron arrow. These are on a different shelf, so I'm not sure if they're already accounted for. Bismarck Pam. So if you follow Planterior Decorator, you'll see that she has this. It is stunning. Okay guys, there's no price on it unfortunately. Lovely larger Monstera Deliciosa. Look at these beautiful golden pothos on totems. Okay guys, they have a great selection of pitcher plants. I don't have one of these. I've always looked at them and wondered if I should buy them or not. Um, let me see how much they are. They are $39.99. So if you're looking for pitcher plants, they're carnivorous for those of you that don't know. Oh, is that a small one? They have a small one for $24.99. I might get the small one. I think these are so cute. How much are they? Is there a price on them? I think that says $9.99. So I'm going to seriously think about that one. Is that the only one they have left for $24.99? Okay, so I'm going to put it in my cart. Rafidophora tetrasperma. Mm -hmm and some more Hartley Philodendron. Oh no, sorry, these are Monstera Deliciosa. 
and some ferns. Some more cool tone. So I think we've kind of done every aisle. They also do beautiful pottery, so I want to go get some pots. So look at this cute selection. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So adorable. Some nice neutral tones over there. How much are these? So that's $24.99. That would be a lovely gift for somebody. Put a plant in it. Isn't it so cute? Those are really cute too, I think. How much are they? They are $14.99. Look at these plant shelves, guys. That one is $99. I love it. It's on sale. Oh my god. At my patio door in my family room. But I love it. Okay, I'm gonna work on it. Hey guys, look what I just picked up. A Marble Queen Pothos. Look at the size of it. For $24.99. So I'm heading now to the till. Okay guys, so I'm just out of Vandermeer's. They have a fantastic stock at the moment, so if you do need something, it would be a good time to pop down. It wasn't too busy. I didn't have to line up, which was fantastic. And I got myself some real beauties. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to ask below. If you've watched till the end, don't forget to give me the green heart in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, guys, it would really help me if you could. Okay, guys, you take care and have a wonderful day.